Jaco Taper, the referee, Ben O'Keefe, um, Pia Bruze run the lines, Marius Jonker, the South African, the television match official. Are we to see a greenwash Grand Slam on this St. Patrick's weekend as Bundiaki and Ireland set about their task and expect England? Van Portfleet back Stay inside on. to Itoje, 12 phases from England. No! Rock. They've got it to the 22, can they take it further? Ireland not Sorry. getting away, that was a body that could have got away and didn't. We'll confirm who, England will play on and play with advantage as Stuart almost away. Thought about trying to get away. it out the back door to Arundel, but couldn't find the pass, but knew he was playing with advantage. But this, if there was any question about what England were going to turn up, you can see it, Dowie. That's better. Absolutely, that's better. Is as straightforward as they come and is a confidence booster, no doubt. Up go the flags. England have the first points at the Aviva. George Itoje and England thought about them all and then decided to release the back line. And they have advantage. Yes. Ireland have infringed One in the midfield. Green, I think it was uh, an early tackle, but we'll come back on that. It's still there for England. James Lowe will intercept, but they won't green, get the opportunity the to chase. Down. On its way from Farrell. Flags go up again. England. Huge personal moment for that man. He is the all-time point scorer record for the Guinness Six Nations. At this very moment, it will not concern him one whit as the crowd at the Aviva rise. Fields of Athenry once again around the Aviva as Ireland look to set the platform inside the English 22. Van der Flair back inside, Sheehan, gap opens up, Sheehan! Ireland have the opening try at the Aviva Stadium and the place has gone wild. Exactly what you want. A fantastic line out, but I've got to take a bow, Paul O'Connell. Probably Simon needs to be in there because just watch this. I think they're going to go the catching drive. Van der Flair pops up, and all of a sudden, Sheen. The Lansdowne club has just erupted. That's a beautiful ball back inside. The pace of the hooker to Alangi actually pushes him over the line. That's given the crowd something to cheer about. Beautiful play. It's a bluff play. They went for the catching drive, no it wasn't, Van der Flair breaking off to the right, back inside, England were asleep, what a score. Well, the boy is very much a ball player. Van der Flair in the midfield, here's Sexton, Bundiaki puts the head down, Van der Flair on his shoulder. Oh, wait, tackle. tackle came in from Willis, Ireland looking to create space, and do they create space? Almost away from Gibson Park, and referee sticks an arm out, advantage being played to head. England, there's a head injury in there. Mack Hansen to That's Hugo forward, not that forward and Ooh. there. Right. High level of danger, there's no mitigation. I agree no. with the fix. No mitigation, okay. We're and I can signal. confirm there are no other uh, angles. angles on this. On Thank this you. I thought, yep, you're back. The fact racing for impacts, I, I, I can't go anywhere else. I understand. In the current climate, you're upright, oh, you're into contact. All right, it's milliseconds, so I can't, you, I can't you have time to, to turn your shoulder. Direct contact to aid is high level of danger. No, I'm gonna guess you. Red card, red card. Freddie Stewart is sent off, and England are down to 14. Yeah. England into contact and survive, and that is a big, big moment for them. They will go to the changing room with a huge challenge ahead. They trail on the scoreboard. It'll be 14 against 15, but they survived that moment and they are very much still in this game. One try in the first half from Dan Sheehan, converted by Sexton, who also added a penalty. Two penalties 
from Owen Farrell. It all adds up to Ireland's four-point lead at half-time. Ireland 10, England 6. It's those Five, handling five, errors. It's 13 handling errors now up to seven, three. Eight, and eight, three eight, from eight, England, 13 eight, from Ireland. Eight, and they get the penalty at the scrum. Struck it well again. The rhythm is there. You can see it in the kicking of Owen Farrell. Inside the final quarter, Ireland in prime position. And they have the advantage, and Pundiaki buries the head and gets a yard or two, and Ireland are going to bang away at the door and see if they can put a big man over. Aki Henshaw! Robbie Henshaw! The power and precision of Ireland on that occasion was more than England's defence could handle. They have their second try and they have some daylight on the scoreboard and they're beginning to believe in the Aviva that this might well be their day. The noise and the emotion is palpable. Again, in the end, England just can't keep them out. It's a numbers game. They all think they're going to go on the left. Now, no, Gibson Park comes back right. Bundiaki, I'm not taking it again. I'm going to give it me mate. I'm going to give it a Henshaw. Gaps all over the place. Jamie George playing out on the wing. This is what does pressure does to you sometimes. But Ireland are holding their heads while all those are around them are losing theirs. Simple, simple here. score in the end. Good scrum from Ireland, hit him once, come back on that blind that. side okay. and put the big fella in. Robbie Henshaw's 10th try for Ireland. And Aki, and he, well, nothing England could do. And that is right there where they missed Freddie Stewart. Big kick coming up. Born in Leicester, played for Tigers. Backwards. Sheehan and Ireland's mall retreat, so the hooker who scored Ireland's first try comes away. And O'Toole, who's been a real fine Release, for Ireland in this Guinness Six Nations, takes it on. Another super pass from Gibson Park to Hansen, which created the room for Sheehan and Ireland are beginning to motor. Ryan Baird into lots of tacklers. Jack Conan tries to get it away. Sheehan! Oh, that is wonderful! That is wonderful! Jack Conan, the creator, Dan Sheehan finished like a winner. Ireland have their third try, and more than one hand on this grand slam. But Sheehan has his second score. A beautiful work move from the line out in the first half, and you've got to say, brilliant play from Gibson Park, going back up the blind side. It's all the work these lads do without the ball. Back up the blind side. Ribbons is caught, smashes into Van Fleet. Set the ball up, don't panic, and then he goes out wide, then it comes back. Mike Hansen, lovely pass. Unbelievable out the back door. Conan there, just come on. Watch this from Conan. That's the skills of a British lion. British and Irish lion. I've got to be I'll be I'll be marched out of the place if I said that, but what again? They can breathe, and I think you can breathe now, Ryle. The job is nearly done. Jack Conan, what a moment for him. He has been the one that has lost out in the competition for starting places in that back row with O'Mahony and van der Fleer and Caelan Doris, but he performed so well for Ireland against Scotland last week, and he comes off the bench again and creates a wonderful moment. But you've got an incredible squad, you are going to get injuries, the World Cup's just around the corner, these things happen. You've got to prepare for it, Andy Farrell's squad is doing that. Poundy gets it. Another tricky conversion for Jonathan Sexton. Another outstanding delivery. And Sexton punches the air with delight. And on they go. Going in the right direction. They're going towards the post. You hope to open up both end options there. Going to the left, go to the right. But now I think there is no only options. The backs are in. They want to go straight over the line. England have two players, two and a half players, none of them all. And on it goes. And over the line they go. And up they come with a try. Well, there was a 12-man ball. And England have got their try. And it's Jamie George, is it, who will come up with the ball? Yes, it is. George in for England's first try of the afternoon. Well, they had no other option. They were all in there. 
And it was the correct decision to commit because England come away with the five. It was a good throw. It was the banker ball at two. Then they actually marched it in field. You can see them marching in field. James Ryan's trying to slow it up, but again, all the backs came in. They stayed on their feet. That is incredibly hard work to do. Jamie George there, no problem with that. Farrell will kick this, no problem with that. Seven points. Is there another twist? I think he enjoyed that. I think he might celebrate tonight. Ireland are looking to put a cherry on top of this Grand Slam performance. Herring gets this! Rob Herring! Strolls in for Ireland. England's defence just backed off him. And he took everything that was offered. Ireland have a bonus point. More importantly than that, they now have a grand slam. They certainly did. They're the bookies' hot favourites coming into this. Sheenan gets two, gets the player of the match. Herring, reserve hooker, gets one. Ballina Hinch has just exploded, I'm sure. Phenomenal there. Just reaching out, that is it. And Farrell knows that. There ain't no coming back. Mike Katz, what a good job they've done, what a good job they've done. They've been out to think about it. Been plenty of pressure put on from England. But in the end, the power and the panache, you've got to say, has come through. England, despite the numerical disadvantage, have players out wide, though. The ball will be kept tight, and Jamie George takes it into contact again. The crowd raise their voice once more. Willing Ireland to one final effort. Doesn't go to hand. Tuaragi can't deal with it. Cross field, it goes from Farrell. And that one goes forward from a hand back at the last That's breakdown. Ireland, Ireland, a team uh, had to handle expectation and pressure.